So today we're going to be tying a really good lake fly. It's a simple pattern called the coronacone, or some people also call them snow cones. It's a real simple coronabid nymph pattern, and it catches a ton of fish. So you'll start with, uh, I'm going to be tying this one here on a size 10, but you could tie this anywhere from an 18 up to an 8. And on there, I've got a 1 8 white bead. And again, you would just match that to the size hook that you're tying on. So I'll start my thread. And I'll start by laying down just a nice, even thread base on the body there. And so the next thing you'll tie in is some micro stretch tubing, in this case red. I like to tuck it up into the bead there. Get it tied down just a little bit. And you'll grab some red crystal flash. What you'll do is you'll grab two strands. And fold that in half around your thread to make four. And then what I like to do is I'll get that started. And then you'll grab that red stretch tubing and pull it fairly tight. Put a little bit of tension on that crystal flash as well and just start making even touching thread wraps going down the body. And the whole idea behind making those even wraps like that is it'll create a nice even flat underbody which will help wrap that crystal flash. So once you have that tied in I like to leave my thread hanging at the back here. Get that stretch tubing out of the way. You'll grab your crystal flash and start making wraps going up the body with it. And the reason I leave my thread hanging there like that is every wrap that thread is pushing back and keeping all four of these pieces together. Keep on bringing that all the way up to just behind the bead here. And you'll take and snip out that excess. Grab that red stretch tubing and make just some open wraps. ribbing your way up the body there. And again, just to right behind the bead. Go ahead and snip that out. And then to finish it off, you'll grab some Hair's Ice Dub in black. Get a nice pinch of it. And you'll start that right there. And build up just a nice little collar right behind the bead there. Then go ahead and whip finish it. Snip off that excess. Add in a little drop of head cement. And you are good to go.